In mathematics, the fundamental theorem of Galois theory is a result that describes the structure of certain types of field extensions. In its most basic form, the theorem asserts that given the field extension E, F that is finite and Galois, there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between its intermediate fields and subgroups of its Galois group. Explicit description of the correspondence for finite extensions, the correspondence can be described explicitly as follows. For any subgroup H of Gal, the corresponding fixed field, denoted A, is the set of those elements of E which are fixed by every automorphism in H. The fundamental theorem says that this correspondence is a one-to-one -one correspondence if E, F is a Galois extension. For example, the topmost field E corresponds to the trivial subgroup of Gal, and the base field F corresponds to the whole group Gal. The notation Gal is only used for Galois extensions. If E, F is Galois, then Gal equals AUT. If E, F is not Galois, then the correspondence gives only an injective map from subgroups of AUT to subfields of E, F and a surjective map in the reverse direction. In particular, if E, F is not Galois, then F is not the fixed field of any subgroup of AUT. Properties of the correspondence The correspondence has the following useful properties. It is inclusion reversing. The inclusion of subgroups H1, H2 holds if and only if the inclusion of fields E, H1, E, H2 holds. Degrees of extensions are related to orders of groups, in a manner consistent with the inclusion-reversing property. Specifically, if H is a subgroup of Gal, then H equals E, A and Gal H equals A, F. The field A is a normal extension of F if and only if H is a normal subgroup of Gal. In this case, the restriction of the elements of Gal to A induces an isomorphism between Gal and the quotient group Gal H. Example 1. Consider the field K equals Q equals Q. Since K is first determined by adjoining square root 2, then square root 3, each element of K can be written as plus square root 3, where A, B, C and D are rational numbers. Its Galois group G equals Gal can be determined by examining the automorphisms of K which fix A. Each such automorphism must send square root 2 to either square root 2 or square root 2, and must send square root 3 to either square root 3 or square root 3 since the permutations in a Galois group can only permute the roots of an irreducible polynomial. Suppose that F exchanges square root 2 and square root 2, so and G exchanges square root 3 and square root 3, so these are clearly automorphisms of K. There is also the identity automorphism E which does not change anything, and the composition of F and G which changes the signs on both radicals. Therefore and G is isomorphic to the klein fall group. It has five subgroups, each of which correspond via the theorem to a subfield of K. The trivial subgroup corresponds to all of K. The entire group G corresponds to the base field Q. The two-element subgroup 1, F, corresponds to the subfield Q, since F fixes square root 3. The two-element subgroup 1, G, corresponds to the subfield Q, again since G fixes square root 2. The two-element subgroup 1, F, G, corresponds to the subfield Q, since F, G fixes square root 6. Example 2. The following is the simplest case where the Galois group is not abelian. Consider the splitting field K of the polynomial x3 minus 2 over Q, that is, K equals Q, where theta is a cube root of 2, and omega is a cube root of 1. For example, if we imagine K to be inside the field of complex numbers, we may take theta to be the real cube root of 2 and omega to be it can be shown that the Galois group G equals Gal has six elements, and is isomorphic to the group of permutations of three objects. It is generated by two automorphisms, say F and G, which are determined by their effect on theta and omega, and then the subgroups are G and corresponding subfields are as follows. 
As usual, the entire group G corresponds to the base field Q, and the trivial group 1 corresponds to the whole field K. There is a unique subgroup of order 3, namely 1 F F2. The corresponding subfield is Q, which has degree 2 over Q, corresponding to the fact that the subgroup has index 2 in G. Also, this subgroup is normal, corresponding to the fact that the subfield is normal over Q. There are three subgroups of order 2, namely 1 G, 1 GF and 1 GF2, corresponding respectively to the three subfields Q, Q, Q. These subfields have degree 3 over Q, again corresponding to the subgroups having index 3 and in G. Note that the subgroups are not normal in G, and this corresponds to the fact that the subfields are not Galois over Q. For example, Q contains only a single root of the polynomial x3-2, so it cannot be normal over Q. Example 3. Let be the field of rational functions in and let which is a group under composition, isomorphic to. Let be the fixed field if then. If is a subgroup of then the coefficients of the following polynomial generate the fixed field if. Galois correspondence means that every subfield of can be constructed this way. For example, if then the fixed field is and if then the fixed field is. Likewise, one can write the fixed field of as with as in J invariant hashtag alternate expressions. Similar examples can be constructed for each of the symmetry groups of the platonic solids as these also have faithful actions on the projective line, and hence on applications. The theorem classifies the intermediate fields of E, F in terms of group theory. This translation between intermediate fields and subgroups is key to showing that the general quintic equation is not solvable by radicals. One first determines the Galois groups of radical extensions where alpha is an nth root of some element of F, and then uses the fundamental theorem to show that solvable extensions correspond to solvable groups. Theories such as comma theory and class field theory are predicated on the fundamental theorem. Infinite case. There is also a version of the fundamental theorem that applies to infinite algebraic extensions, which are normal and separable. It involves defining a certain topological structure, the Krull topology. On the Galois group, only subgroups that are also closed sets are relevant in the correspondence. 